You're watching Adorama TV. Hi everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Adorama TV product reviews. Well this week we're going to talk about a bunch of products for the iPhone 4 and iPhone 4S and these are for iPhoneography, a fancy word that I think is made up. But anyway, um, we have a bunch of things at Adorama that are in the new iPhone tool shed and you can find that at adorama.com slash iPhone tool shed. So it's all these solutions and a bunch more. So I'm going to show you some solutions for mounting your iPhone to a tripod, adding different lenses and there's even this really cool gadget right here that has an app that works with this gadget. In fact, let's start there. This is called the Belkin Live Action Camera Grip. It's $40 and with this you'll have to install the Live Action app which is free and so you just buy this and you can download the Live Action app free on the iTunes store. And what this does is it just sort of clicks in here. So it's got these two little arms that hold the iPhone secure and then the bottom part clicks in just like your charger, your, your normal accessory mount. So once that's in there, uh, you can turn this on. It automatically senses that this is uh, on there and so the live action app uh, opens. And so the cool thing about this guy right here is what it does to the interface. And so you have uh, two little buttons on the top here. And what this does, it allows you to shoot video or stills without having to switch anything back and forth. So it automatically knows when you're using the app that if you push this big black button right here, that's the shutter release for stills. If you push the red button, it automatically starts shooting video. So you don't have to go into the uh, app and tell it I'm shooting stills or I'm shooting video like you normally would. And also inside the app, there are some things that are really nice. So you can zoom in and zoom out on different things. You can turn the flash on, have it on auto, or make sure it doesn't fire. And then you can also flip the camera around so it is looking either forward or back. And it's really nice. It's got this nice grip. Now the other thing I like about this is not only does it have a nice grip, but it has a quarter 20 thread, which means you can mount that to a tripod if you want and then you can shoot your uh, iPhone videos and things using a tripod so it's much more stable. So that's the Belkin live action camera grip and the live action app and it's forty dollars. It's pretty cool. Well there's another little app here, or not an app, an, uh, a lens set here and this is called the Oloclip Quick Connect Lens Solution and it's got a fisheye lens, it's got a macro lens and a wide angle lens. It's eighty five dollars and the way this works is there's this little clip right here and it just slides on the edge of your iPhone 4 or iPhone 4S and then you can take the lens cap off so that's a fisheye lens and so you can get some really cool fisheye effects um, or you can take this and turn it around and now we have this macro lens and so um, it's really nice actually this is the wide angle lens and to get the macro lens what you can do is just take this wide angle lens unscrew it once you take that off now this is a macro lens and you can really, really get in close. It's a 10x multiplier and allows you to focus uh, the iPhone uh, to about 12 or 15 millimeters of the subject. So really, really close. So it's a really cool macro adjustment. Now one of the things that we noticed on this when I was testing it and taking pictures is that when I'm putting these uh, lenses on and off or adjusting things, it's really easy to move this whole clip. And what happens is you'll get a little part of that in the lens and so you'll get some dark or just to knock that off is really, really easy. So I think the design of this could be improved a little bit because that falls off so easily. But overall, it's really nice and it comes with a little bag, a little carrying case so you can put all the lens caps and lenses and stuff in there. The thing I really like about it is it's very, very small so you can just stick it in your pocket or in your bag and you don't have this whole thing that's on your iPhone. So it's pretty cool. Uh, again, that's $85 for, for these lenses here. Well, there's another uh, system that I really like. Now, this is a much more expensive solution. This is called the iPro Lens System. It's got a fisheye and a wide angle lens and a handle and a tripod mount and a case. And this whole thing is $189. Now, let me walk you through how this works. So uh, it's built around this case for your iPhone 4 or 4S. And the case has uh, two uh, screw mounts right here, so threaded mounts, and then your iPhone pops in there and it's a really pretty secure fit. Now I wish they would have made these standard quarter 20 threads so you could just mount that directly to a tripod but they didn't and so what they've done here is this is a plastic case but the threads are actually metal so it's a metal insert and then this handle is also plastic but it has a metal insert for this uh, threaded top here and so what you can do is you can take this handle and it uh, screws right onto there so it fastens on there and now what you can do is you can attach the handle 
to a tripod and there's your tripod mount or you can use this for handy cam kind of work. And the really nice thing about this is inside the handle, well that's where your lenses are. So here's a lens right here, this is the wide angle lens and it just twists off. So I'll put this handle back together here. And then to put it on the case, there are uh, a, a receiver right here that allows you to just put this in there and then you twist it, it locks in. So you've got your wide angle lens and then there is another uh, little case in here, it's sort of hidden. So I'll take this guy off, put it back where it came from. And once that's there, I can take this guy and you'll see there's another lens. So I can take that out. And then what I can do is I can click that into the case. And then I'll put this back on here and I'm good to go. Now this is pretty cool. The, a couple things I don't like about it. One is that uh, this um, handle here is plastic and it feels to me like after some heavy duty use after a while it could break. The other thing you notice it's sort of awkward to put stuff in and out of this handle taking it around. So if you're on location or something shooting maybe on vacation I think it'd be really easy to accidentally drop one of these things because it's sort of awkward to hold it. But other than that I think it's a pretty nice system. I wish these were quarter 20 threads uh, so you didn't have to put the handle on if you want to mount it on a tripod but you do and so that's how that was made. So this is the iPro lens system. Again it's got a fisheye lens and a wide angle lens and it's $189 for the entire case and everything. So the next thing I want to show you, I'll take this case off really fast, and then what we'll do is I want to show you this Owly case over here. Now again, this is a pretty tight fit, so let me get this off of here really fast. All right, so I, uh, I just got that off of there. Let's take a look at this solution over here. This is called the Owly, um, and this is the Owly Bubo iPhone 4 camera, and it's a complete HD video kit. And this is $162 and it comes with this body. This is a really it's sort of heavy. It's a couple of pounds, this metal, solid metal case here. And uh, it's got a wide angle and a macro lens that uh, is right here. And then it's got a microphone that I'll show you that's inside here. Um, it's got this case that fits inside there. It also has four quarter 20 threaded mounts right here so you can attach this to a tripod at any one of these four points. But in addition to that, not only putting that on a tripod, you can add things like a light. It's got a shoe mount right here so I'll show you what that is so you can put lights and things on there. You can put microphones on here. There's all kinds of things you can do with this. So I think of all the solutions, this is probably the one that uh, gives you the most stability and the most options for mounting different things to your iPhone. So let me walk you through really quickly how this works. Now for this to work you need this case and this case is a, an extremely secure fit inside here. So uh, what this does, this case goes right on your iPhone just like this and when I first did this I thought I got the wrong size because you can't just put this in there. It doesn't go in there. It's a really really snug fit. So what you have to do is put one side in and then squeeze it in and you'll see it feels like you're about to bust your phone but you're not and now that is securely in there. Now the other thing to note about this is you need to make sure that when you get this you get the one that's for the iPhone 4 or the iPhone 4S or if you have an iPod Touch make sure you get one for the iPod Touch because they're different sizes. So either the one for the iPhone 4, 4S or one for iPod Touch if you have that. Now you can hold this and it gives you some nice stability and because it's heavy it, uh, it really adds some stability to the system. Now on the front here you have your wide angle lens which is really nice. If you want to take that and change it, all you have to do is take that off and now you've got this macro lens that allows you to get really really close which is really nice. Now inside the bag here you have uh, a lens cap and a microphone. Now one of the things that we did notice is that this lens cap for the wide angle, I mean for the macro lens, it uh, just didn't fit. So maybe it was ours that was defective but this just never went on there so that was no good. Um, but once we have this mounted on here the other lens cap worked just fine so I'll put that on there just like that. So you've got that. The other thing that it has is it's got this little microphone that you can stick right in here on the side and you can move that so you can record yourself looking at some things or record forward which is really nice. Um, and then let me show you some of these other things here. So the mounting on this allows you to put a quarter 20 thread which is a standard tripod plate mount. So I can put this on here really quickly. And once I get this on here I want to show you how you can add an external light which I think is one of the most exciting things because this allows you to really make sure 
that things are nice and bright. So we've got this mounted on this tripod. Now I can move this around. Now one of the things I want to do though is maybe I'm shooting in low light. So I've got this LED panel. This is a flashpoint LED panel. I can take this guy here and it will fit right onto that shoe. So any light or any accessory that you have that mounts to a hot shoe or a cold shoe will mount right on there. And now I've got my iPhone in an entire rig and I've got this light so I can shoot in low light. And we actually did some tests on tripods with this rig and walking and taking some pictures. And I really liked of all the solutions, the one I liked the most is the Owly because it gave us the most stability, it was the most rugged, and it was really nice. Now, the one thing I didn't like about the Owly is that you have a wide angle lens, you've got a macro lens, but you can't just take these off and have no lens. And so I wish you could, so you could use the standard lens that's built into the iPhone 4 or iPhone 4S, but you can't, you have to use one of those, and I wish that you didn't have to. Well, there you have it, there's the Owly, there's all the other solutions that we have here. Now, remember, all this stuff, you can find it, and more things about iPhoneography at the iPhone tool shed at Adorama. Again, the address is adorama.com slash iPhone tool shed. So make sure you check it out, and you can see all the new stuff coming out for iPhones, new products, new apps, all kinds of groovy things if you love taking pictures with your iPhone. Well, thank you so much for joining me this week. Remember, if you have questions, if you have suggestions about photography, please send those to me at askmark at adorama.com. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.